Hi everyone, this is Marcus, your Asian tennis boy, and welcome to another episode of Match Play Highlights. This time I'm doing something different, it's going to be a live commentary of specific highlights of a match, so let's just get right into it. This time I'm playing against a top-ranked junior, his name is Patrick Luanski. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, if I'm not then sorry Patrick. But shout out to Brandon for setting this up for allowing me to have a chance to play a player of such an elite caliber. You know, um, Patrick goes deep in some of the local tournaments that we have here in Singapore. Under the Singapore Tennis Association, or STA for short, he reaches at least like round of 16, and I think recently he got into the quarterfinals as well. So this is someone who I knew was uh, had a really strong base in terms of like foundation, technique that is definitely superior to mine. I had a game plan and strategy going into this. As you know, I'm more of a defensive player, so I intended to, to do my best to frustrate him with a, a variety of shots. So that would mean like top spin, slice, uh, changing directions, moving him left to right if possible but more up and down with drop shots and uh, high loopy balls. So as you can see here, I took a quick two love lead, but Patrick managed to claw back strong, right? He managed to hit some good winners like this one right here. and. I think for me, my mentality coming into this match was that the scoreline didn't matter. Like, I felt really, really privileged that someone of this level was playing a match with me. So I was just in a mindset of cherishing every moment on court and um, just enjoying myself. I was hitting very freely. Of course, not in terms of my shots because uh, I was definitely pretty stiff out there. but. In terms of my mindset, I think I was very free of all the pressure that I think a lot of time we put on ourselves, whether it's about winning and losing or even like point pressure during the game. All these things, I think, contribute to um, the way that we respond and make decisions, which sometimes happen in a split second. So even though I was up to love and right now trailing by two games to four, I was still sticking to my game plan, which was to play quote-unquote ugly tennis, trying to get the ball in just one, you know, I was just telling myself one more chance, one more chance, one more chance. It didn't matter how I managed to get the ball in, I was just trying to get the ball in. And I was rewarded by um, two errors, just to hold myself after he was putting so much pressure on me. And right here, I was gifted two break points. And this point is probably a microcosm of what happened throughout the match. So I will just let this rally go on. Oh no! Finally, it ended with an error on my part, but you can see I was standing way past the baseline and trying to get as much net clearance and trying to put the ball as deep as possible so that Patrick couldn't attack. Well, here on this break point, I was gifted by a chance to approach, but my shot landed just behind the baseline. So I was taken to deuce, but I knew that I still had a fighting chance. So again, same mindset, one more chance, one more chance, one more chance. Right here, Patrick just pulled out a crazy tweener. And I think he won this point. Yeah, there we go with an amazing winner. Well, well deserved. You know, after all of that fight, I found myself down two match points, facing two match points. And uh, I have to commend myself that I managed to hold my ground make it difficult for Patrick and challenge him to close out the set. And I did that by, of course, using some unorthodox shot selection.
I think throughout the match, I never really dared to be aggressive. I was just trying to make sure I keep the ball in because I was afraid because uh, my percentage of aggressive shots was still at um, not super consistent level. So I just wanted to keep the ball in and that was just my game plan. Of course, right here, I had a chance. One point away from holding my serve, so I was going for this backhand pass, but uh, unfortunately, the ball landed just back. And again, my same strategy goes, which is just to try my best to frustrate the opponent, um, get his timing off, don't get him into the rhythm, and eventually I managed to hold to prolong my chances of set one. I think a lot of time when we fail to convert break points or match points, sometimes there's added pressure going into the next game, especially if it's on serve. So I knew I was just trying to pressure Patrick and I was rewarded by him gifting me some unforced errors. So here you can see me just like playing slices that really managed to frustrate Patrick. Uh, of course, he does pull out the occasional winner, which he's definitely more than capable of doing. But I was just trying my best to not let him get easy shots, you know, no easy shot balls that he can just like crush. Just like that one. Got a bit lucky with the net court and also a bit of a miss hit on that passing shot. Patrick was really ripping it, man. Like the balls he was hitting here were deep, were high quality. But I told myself, I'm just going to run for every ball. And here I was rewarded by taking a bit of a chance on the pro shot. But finally, I get a chance to hold my serve, to take it to, uh, to at least ensure that I get towards a tie break. But unfortunately, I get stopped by an impressive winner and set up. Fortunately for me, unfortunately for Patrick, two unforced errors in a row meant that I managed to hold serve. And at this point, I was really trying to win it, but Patrick just pulled out amazing serves. And expectedly, Patrick managed to hold, and we are going to a tiebreak. Tiebreaks are super brutal and really, really close because one moment you can be up, next moment you can be trailing. The momentum shifts really, really quickly in a matter and span of one or two points. So it's important to stay extremely focused, to have a little bit of an element of surprise, something in the back pocket, and always to capitalize on every, every opportunity. Here I actually had a chance to sort of like close it, but I didn't. And I think that's where I allowed Patrick to come back in as with that amazing ace. Right there in that shot, I remember that I was actually trying to be aggressive and I wasn't rewarded by taking the risk. And then with a brilliant drop shot, Patrick took home the tie break and with that the first set. I started out the second set really well, taking a love 40 lead, but eventually I think Patrick managed to claw back with some uh, amazing shots like this uh, cross court backhand right here. But at deuce, you know, I knew that I still had a fighting chance. Right here, I had a break point. Right here, Patrick put out a crazy ace out wide, but followed it up with a double fault. And I think that's a summary of his service game today. I was really fortunate that he gifted me a lot, a lot of double faults. So that really helped to keep me 
putting pressure on her service games. Eventually, I did have a breakpoint opportunity that I converted, again, from an error. In a similar fashion to the first set, I wasn't able to capitalize on a break and here I was uh, back on serve. Super lucky with the net caught right there. Kudos to Patrick for putting that one away. That was quite a casual volley and again with a double fault I was gifted another break. On top of playing my game, I felt that I served relatively well today. Oh, that was pretty harsh, hitting myself in the head. But uh, good serves, uh, especially on the first serves, helped me get some easy points or at least put pressure on Patrick. For replay, that ball was out. I could feel like after over time, Patrick was trying to play my game and he was getting better at it. He was putting balls really deep, full of spin, standing back and uh, just countering my defense with better defense on his own. I remember this point pretty vividly because I thought I was like gone and I was rooted to the spot. But was gifted the error and I think that gave me some false confidence to be aggressive on this shot where I really shouldn't have. And with an error, I was broken and that was the match. That was all we could play in the two hours of court booking that we had. That was how long the first set lasted, almost about an hour. And I'm just going to leave you with some match statistics courtesy of Swing Vision. Thanks so much for watching and until the next one.